Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Just did about 15 minutes worth of gear stuff. Um, gear optimizing, I suppose. Uh, did a lot of breaking down items, so I don't have nearly uh, as much... Well, I, I still have quite a bit. I don't have nearly as much stuff in my inventory as I used to. But yeah, there's still a lot. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to do more later, but 15 minutes is all I can do right now. I need to move on and play the game. So, let's check the galaxy map. Actually, before we do that, let's check our journal. Lost Jedi, you spoke to Master Gvar and Onderon. He agreed to meet you at the Jedi Enclave on Dantavine when you've united all Jedi Masters. Okay. Finding the HK Factory, uh, right. We still need to find two more of those. Trade War on Nar Shaddaa. Gita offered the uh, same discount as Undar did. In exchange for allowing her to remain in business. I don't know if we can wrap that one up. The Pazak Den. Right. Vog of the Hut. Um. Before we move on, I want to go back and... Tr Let's go back to Narshada. Where is it? Let's go back to Narshada and see if we can do this Pazak quest. I know you guys are probably really excited for me to move on to uh, Korriban. But I don't think we're going to be coming back to Nar Shada, So I'd like to try and wrap it up. You know, complete it. I'm going to bring HK with me. And we'll bring... Visus. Why not? My life is yours. Let's level them both up real quick. Attributes for Visis, give her wisdom, I'll give her a plus two. Skills for her. Feats for her. I don't think we were currently working on anything for her feet wise, were we? Nope. So, we're gonna give her. This is this it? Yeah, the dual strike plus two to hit if they're attacking the same target as some as a party member. Uh, one force power. We were trying to get everybody to get revitalized, and that's it. And then HK. He also is getting skills. He is also getting a feat. He doesn't really need anything either. Uh, no, not that. This. What is this? Oh, there we go. Close combat. This feat trains ranged weapon characters to fight effectively in close combat. When the character's target is at short range, they receive a plus one attack bonus. Additionally, when these characters are engaged in melee combat, their attackers receive only a plus four attack bonus instead of the usual plus six. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, he gets more. Okay. Attribute for HK. I guess we are getting him in Khan, so he gets a plus one modifier to Khan. That's pretty important. Feats, we can get him that second. Improved close combat. Then I'll get a plus two bonus instead of plus six. That's really good. Okay. All right, so we have to go to the entertainment district. I'm so I'm guessing, and uh, find this Pizak player. 
It's been a while since we've been here. I wonder if we'll encounter any more HK droids. Probably not. Don't we still... Is this the guy that we have the quest for? No, Gita and Undar. Where's the entertainment? What's the docks? Okay, the entertainment promenade's over here. Alright. I want to see real quick. I want to sell some stuff, if I can. Um... What did I... What was I looking at earlier? I have a lot of something that I was trying... I was going to try to sell. Oh, shields. Will that be under armor? Yeah. I've got... Uh, they're not worth as much as I thought they were. We're not going to use all these shields. Alright, well, that got us a few credits. I wasn't sure earlier when I was breaking down items if I wanted to break them down for crafting parts, or if I should hold on to them and sell them. So I figured I'd kind of split it 50-50. Okay. I think this is... Yeah, Pazak Den. So who's the guy? It's gotta be this guy. Yeah. Greedy? Alright, let's, let's play. I think we have to beat this guy a couple times to trigger something. So let's try it. Six, nine, twelve. Uh, I could use plus four here. Yeah, might as well. Alright, we tied. Oh, good. He's got ten. He froze at nineteen. I could play a card and tie at nineteen. Do I want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, I might as well. Good. Stay low. Stay low. That is not low, but we can get 20 out of that. Damn. Okay, he's good. He's good. Or he's lucky, you know, whatever. Holy crap. He's got some sick cards. Oh, but we're, we've got luck. You don't need sick cards when you got luck, man. Ugh. Ugh, I'm playing it. Nice! Alright, this is where luck is gonna carry us. Yeah! Oh wait, I thought that- Oh no, I thought that was the game! <laughs> Crap! Alright, we're, we're standing on 19. Yes, okay. Uh, let's play again. Alright, let's see. What happens if we keep winning? 16. Alright, let's get 20. He froze on 19. Oh! Feels good, man. Okay. Huzzah! Just need to win one more hand. Oh, good. He's way out ahead. 17. Nice! For the last time, take your credits and go. Okay, journal entry added. Was that it? Hey, I guess we did it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was easy. Whoa, what's going on? He's so handsome. I'd love to play him all day. You're big stuff, no? Uh, who are you? I am the champ. I win Pizak, and I all the time I win, you play me, come talk to me. Alright, cool. The champ. Hello, big stuff. You play Pizak now? Alright, let's play. 500 credits! Can we change that? 
I'm just curious how low we can go. That's really annoying. There's no way to speed this up, is there? Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> well. Okay then. I don't know what I'm in for here, so I don't want to wager too much against this guy. Hmm. I'm gonna end turn. That was a bad idea. At least he used a card. Wow. Natural 20, huh? Okay. Alright, he's up two hands. Sorry, we got a minus two. What? What? Oh my god, that is a bullshit card. Minus one and win ties. Alright, well, good thing we only lost one credit. We'll play for 500 this time. Boom. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Keep him ahead. Keep him ahead. Oh, natural 20. Oh. oh, no. Okay, I don't like this. He froze on 17? And we have a minus 2, 3, and 4? As long as we don't draw a 10, we win. Like, we just need a 3... A 3 through 9, and we win. Right? hate this game. <sighs> Alright, he got 20. I'm letting him have this one. I feel like we can win. All right, he's frozen on 17. Here we are again. So what, what do we need? We need a five, <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. We need a six, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 wins it. So yeah, there we go. Champ lose, that's not right. Play again. Ugh. All right, let's try one more time. I don't know if like there's a limit or like a, to a target number of wins that we're going for. He is good. I'll give him that. Natural 20 again? Man, I don't like that. Oh, I like when he freezes on 17, though. That's a good sign. Uh, see, I could play the plus 2 here or the plus 3. Which do I want, though? We'll do the 2. Keep the numbers low, man. Keep the numbers low. I'll we'll tie that. Oh, 20 right out of the gate, huh? Huh? I could play a card and tie, but it's my last card. I think I need to. Now the the luck is in the 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 fate is in the cards, man. Okay. Oh god, we're we're high. Oh, 19! Oh, he also got 19. Keep it low! That is not low! Keep- oh god, 16. Ugh, I have to end turn. Damn it. Yes, keep it low. Yes! Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh god, we need a 5 or a 6. We need a 5 or a 6. Okay, we can tie. I'll take the tie. That is not a low card. I need a low cards. 
Oh no, 17, I have to stand. We don't have a choice. Damn it. Okay, one more. Best two out of three. For 500 credits, let's go. Best two out of three. Yes! Okay. Okay. I'm not even gonna try because he has the, the tiebreaker. That's good, we're- that's fine. He's up one hand, but we're up two cards. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Oh, no. I don't like that. That's not good. Okay. No. Yes. Oh, what? Alright, this is it. This is it. Oh, no. I'm taking a risk, guys. I'm ending turn. No! So close! Alright. Sorry, I'm playing one more. I'm not addicted, I swear. Uh, yeah. No. Alright, he's got one card left. I'm taking the tie. Okay, good. Keep it low. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, now we're done. That's not in the journals. Oh my god, it is in the journal. All right, we're playing him again. We gotta beat, we gotta clear this journal. I'm gonna lose all my freaking credits to this freaking mouse. It's not even worth, I'm just standing. Like, it's not even worth playing. If he's got that tiebreaker card. How do you go back down to n nine? Hmm. I don't have a plus three. We do have a minus five. So I'm just ending turn. Ooh. I'm ending turn again. Maybe enter and I'll stand. Let's see what happens. Okay, good. It wouldn't have made a difference. Did he stand? He stood on 17? Oh, but I don't have any way to get... Oh, I need to end. And then minus 3. Alright. He wants to play again. That's fine. I think... I think we might have to win like three times. So this... We've won twice. So this will be the third time if we can win this game. Damn, he played two cards that game, but I guess he won. The freaking tiebreaker card, I hate that card. Wow. Oh, at least we got natural 20. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You win for filling up the board without busting? Even if you didn't get the higher number? What the hell was that? That's a bullshit rule if I ever did see one. Oh, I like that, though. That was a ballsy play, and it paid off. Shit, he got 19. Oh, shit, I got 20. Nope. 
No more! Champ lose no more! Here, take this golden card and don't come back. What'd I get? Oh, the Pizzot card tiebreaker! Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Where is it? Is it in Misk? We have, no? We have Pizzot cards in here? No, that's Pizzot side deck. I can't look at our cards. Oh, wait, can I use item? No. Well... That's out of the journal now, right? Yep. Okay. What's the Vlog of the Hut one say? You ever heard two thugs talk about Vlog of the Hut and the Crown Boss Goto? I don't think, uh, I don't think we'll be able to clear that out of our journal. HK droids? No. Uh, Undar. Yeah, let me talk to Undar now. You not do job. Uh, she seems pretty harmless. I'm letting you stay. I didn't promise you anything. Yeah, I can't, like... You don't offer me the same discount, too. If you want to go on Unity, you raise your offer. You don't give me anything because of words. I'm not scared of the exchange. Go tell the exchange, give them a description. Oh, okay, now we got... Wait. Undar did not like Ida's attempt at a counteroffer and said, unless you get rid of her, the exchange will block you from all merchant transactions on Nar Shada. What? Okay, well, he won't trade with me. But, like, if I wanted to trade with her over here, she would. Uh... Undar countered your offer with a threat from the exchange. It's not an offer you can match, even with the lowest discount. Both of us cannot remain in business. Undar can offer better weapons and armor than I. Such items give you a quick, deadly edge over your opponents. I'm still building market connections. Okay. So is that choice before you? The quick, easy path leads to what you want now, or the longer road where you may gain nothing at all? I'll stand with you. Very well, but I did warn you. There may be nothing down this road that you've chosen, yet perhaps if we work together, we can be, much can be gained. I know where you came here by ship. You have recently visited other worlds. Perhaps you know ways to establish a market there where I cannot. Onderon suffers beneath a blockade and the growing secession, uh, secessionist movement. Yeah, what about Dantooine? There we go. Dantooine is still suffering from its attack on the Jedi Civil War. The settlements there are in jeopardy. If they could be stabilized, perhaps I could do that. Let me know if you make progress towards establishing a new market. I already settled the problems with Dantooine. If you want to travel there to trade, you can. It's good news indeed. I have heard there are many opportunities to be found there. I thank you for your intervention. Uh, I'll do my best and let you know. Cool. What do you mean before veteran of a war yet to come? Struggles and battles are the way of the universe. The, pit, uh, the pitch and yaw of empires fall and rise, blah, blah, blah. You can, uh, you can tell I've seen many battles. You're pretty articulate for Rodian. Yeah, right, we've already done this. Okay. Journal entry. New trade routes. Trade war bonus mission still going. What the hell? How do I get rid of that? Civil War in Onderon has ended, but it's still too late. Too volatile for Gita to establish a market there, but perhaps she could trade with the Mandalorians on Duxin. You should return to Gita on Narshada. I tell her this. Wait a minute. That's trade routes. Onderon's a cast, but you might trade with the Mandalorians on Duxin. Very good. I'll set up connections there immediately. Okay? Okay, good. So now let's go tell this guy that she's leaving. Is she leaving? I don't even know. I'm standing with Gita. Don't trouble her anymore. This is this I not need. She even steals my thugs from me. I give up. She could keep this hole. I not need. This is for you. You make exchange not happy. Hope you live more than hours before they learn it. Oh, thank God. We cleared it. Okay. Now, 
Oh, the last thing I can think of is this Vaga the Hut mission. Uh, we need to go to the docks. I do not see us being able to clear this mission because we've already dealt with Godo. Oh, what if we bring Godo with us though? That would be interesting. Uh, I'm gonna do. All right. Well, this is gonna be complicated because I don't think we've run with Godo once yet, and I don't want to not bring HK. So we're gonna bring HK and Godo. Ready to serve. Oh my God! Look at this freaking thing. That is ridiculous. Let's level him up. This is gonna be crazy. Oh my God! He's level six. This is gonna take forever, guys. I'm sorry. Here we go. Skills. Security, computer use, okay good, he is intelligent, or uh, four skill points, so we'll do repair, level up, attributes, what, dex, I guess, sure, we're just gonna keep going with this, feats, what do you get for feats, you have like no combat skills, I guess blaster pistol, weapon focus, so that you can actually hit your target. Droid trick. I have no idea what that does. Well, what does that do? Droid trick. Droid trick distracts a droid target, making it easier to sneak behind, sneak by them. If the droid, if the target fails, it will. Oh, so it's just like beast trick, except for droids. Okay. Personal Cloaking Shield. Goto has a personal cloaking shield built into his frame. This allows him to use a stealth skill without a stealth field generator. That's kind of cool. Other than that, I don't really care. I don't like him. Uh, what else could he possibly benefit from? Just decks. I'm just going to keep putting points into his decks. Maybe Khan? For some, like, more health. Alright, improved two weapon fighting. Scramble droid. Master two weapon fighting. Dex is good for him because that's going to give him both accuracy and defense. So it makes him both deadlier and tankier. Khan just makes him tankier. Uh, we'll go ahead and get... Uh, let's get toughness. Give him some more HP. Yeah, it's just going to be con for him every time. Uh, now we'll do Master Gearhead, give him more some skill point increases. Not that he needs it. Oh my god, the level ups. The level ups are real. I don't think I've ever leveled him up, so this kind of was inevitable. Okay, there we go. Look, we haven't even equipped him with anything. Do I really care to, though? I mean, not really. I don't, I don't really care. I don't even want to give him, like, the best stuff. Because I'd rather give the best stuff to HK. Sure, whatever. Alright, good enough.
All right, let's see what happens now. Because we've cleaned up most of the quests on this planet. We still have a couple on um, Telos, or Citadel Station, I guess. But this should really be it. And then we can go to Korriban, and then I'm pretty sure that's like the end of the game. Interesting, okay. So he doesn't even come with. Currently resting. Awake him. His temper could be. All right. Go. Please wake him. Uh, what could be important enough to disturb my rest? Who do you dare? Who do you? Who are you? Well, why do you defile? Oh my God. Whatever. Can you tell me about Godo? The infuriating one, Godo. He's the one I wish to see lying in a pool of blood in front of me, or with his knee bent. What has Godo done to you? I do not know how he's managed it, but he preys upon my freighters. Entire shipments fuel from Slay Heyron have been hijacked by his minions. Because of this, I've been forced to cease my trading operations, which have proven quite annoying. Perhaps I can help you get to the bottom of this. It's not like you'll find anything where all my resources have failed, but you're welcome to if you're determined. Citadel Station is looking for a new fuel source. This I know. My fuel would fetch a pretty price there, but not a drop will leave here until Godo is dealt with. If I can take care of Godo, will you agree to help fuel Citadel Station? What? And you would do this out of the kindness of your heart? What is your price? I just want to make sure Tilo says fuel. Be best to let the planet die. But this is getting ahead of ourselves. First, Godo must be dealt with, or the stories of Slow uh, will remain there. What else do we got? No, but wait. What if I. Let me go back to that. If I could take care of Godo, we will agree to help ship fuel to the Citadel Station. A fair deal for Telos. Okay, maybe I have to end this conversation and then talk to him again. I want to know about the exchange. Okay, so he's not the exchange. Okay, new journal entry. So... Okay, good. So we no longer have the Vog of the Hut. We now have a new fuel source bonus mission. Vog of the Hut has informed you that he has a large fuel supply from Slay Heron. They'd be willing to trade, uh, but not, but will not dispatch any of his freighters so that they could be safe from Godo's hijacking. Let me talk to Godo. And see if I can do anything. What? Uh, yo, come out of here, bro. Where are you going? Uh, I wanted to talk to you about your operations on Nar Shaddaa. As anxious as I am oh, to no. all my trade secrets, you will understand if I choose not to answer such questions. Oh crap. Considering that I saved you, you could be more grateful. The fact we are even having a conversation is gratitude. Usually, my conversations do not have the give and take that our current interaction does. And, of course, there is much more screaming on the part of the listener when the torture field is activated. Alright. Well, let me try talking to Vaga about it again. I don't think we'll be able to do anything just yet. I do not see Godo chained behind you. Uh, I do not have Godo here, but rest assured he will trouble you no longer. Indeed, I had heard as much. I wouldn't have thought you could have so easily disposed of him. Rarely am I impressed by a human. I believe that means we have a matter of business to discuss. My freighters have already begun their work. I will open a trade with the Telosians. However, I believe they will be reluctant to listen to my offer should it come from me. Here, these credits should cover your expenses and a fee of services rendered. I do expect you to do what, you, what I've asked if you do not find a little time to enjoy those credits. Alright. Now leave. I've grown so fond of you. I'd like you around. Or haven't grown so fond of you. Okay. So, oh my god, Vogel has asked you to speak with Lieutenant Gren on his behalf in regards to establishing a trade. Okay, so now we have to go to Telos and talk to Lieutenant Gren. Okay, but we also have to deal with the smuggling. Suspicious goods. Okay, good, so we have to talk to Lieutenant Gren twice. Let's go to Telos. 
Let's see if we can't wrap this up. We can't fast travel back to the Ebon Hawk like we could in the first KOTOR, can we? Uh, no, it does not look like it. Because you used to be able to do it from the map screen. But I don't see a button to do that. Uh, wait. Is it maybe from the party screen? Nope. Okay, well, we don't need Goto with us anymore. Let's go back to Visus. Alright, we're done with Narshada. Let's see if maybe we encounter those HK droids when we go back into this next area now. Because I know we did before. In the past, they were waiting for us right after we loaded through this door. Let's see. Nope. Oh, wait, we gotta go this way. No, nothing here. Alright, Narshada's done, I think. I think we did alright. Uh oh. Con oh no, I thought we were having a conversation. Oh man. Alright, well, I'm surprised we don't have to raise influence with Godo. Alright, um, I know this episode, uh, let me see, let me do a quick, yeah, you know, it's probably best to just wrap this up now. Um, I know not a whole lot happened this episode, but at least we're done with Narshada now. Next episode we'll finish up Telos, hopefully, and maybe we'll get our, on our way to Korriban. But, uh, sorry, this episode was rather, you know, I guess boring, whatever. We're gonna have a couple of these every once in a while, I suppose, before the end of the game, but we're getting to the end! I'm pretty sure. We're pretty close. It feels like it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Moby's one here, and I'll see you in the next one.